Hey, what's up, everybody? Will here from Argilla Games. Uh, this is my first video on the channel. Um, so, um, I hope that you like it, and I hope I'm as good as the master. Um, and uh, today I'm going to be show you, showing you some interesting traps you can do. Today we're going to be focusing mainly on landmines, and I'm going to have a little series going here. Um, in order to save time, I'm going to use, God forbid, an inventory editor purely for the videos. If I use one in a video, I will definitely tell you I will not try to pass it off as some kind of, you know, amazing thing. Um, I don't know if any of you have used a inventory editor, um, but um, they're pretty easy to use. They're good if you just want to use the creative aspect of your, you know, entire thing. And if you just get bored. Um, I have to create a new world here just real quick. And then open up my thing, but now we're going to be focusing on landmines and minefields um, and such. So let me open up my thing here. If enough of you are interested, I can maybe put up. Um, a video demonstrating how to get this particular editor for uh, Minecraft. It's not like a hack or anything, but anyways, um, the things you're going to need for this uh, thing is only two items, believe it or not. Pretty easy one. Definitely the simplest one I'm going to do. And as we go on, I will do uh, more Experience one. So the only things you'll need is TNT. If you don't know how to make TNT, um, how you make it is you have gunpowder and you make an X with that in your three by three crafting table, and then with your sand you fill in the things. So it's three from left to right, and then two more from right to left of gunpowder, and then uh, one in the bottom row, middle, two in the sides of the middle row and then one at the middle row on the top uh, to make TNT. And you also need to use um, some stone pressure plates, or uh, you can do whatever. You can use wooden as well. I think it's over here. Or near here, anyways. Um, OK, so stone pressure plate. You can also use a wooden one. But I do prefer to use stone for said thing. So, um, get however many TNT you want. Let's get a ton, because we can. Oops, not 101. That's not what I want. Um... Okay. Um, now we gotta save. Save the landmine. Okay, and then get out of this. Okay, we have a single player, landmine, and selected world. Okay, um, and now we have this. Let me find it. Okay. So what we're going to do is build a landmine that I described before. We're also gonna need some sand, but I don't know if that's the need. If you can get the sand. It's amazing. Um, I would also recommend building this in the sand, regardless. Anyways, what you're going to want to do is dig a hole, four squares deep. Two, four. Dig yourself out. And then feel free to fill in these holes. There we go. Okay. So then on the second square down, place your block of TNT. And on top of that, place a block of sand. And then on top of that, place your stone pressure plate. Um, now the best um, way to use uh, mine process to put some treasure at the end. So say, ooh, this mystical block of sand that everyone now wants. Um, 
but I'm going to be a jerk and make you walk across a series of stuff. Um, some people use these pressure plates as like misleading factors. And you'd be like, aha, oh, they don't think that there's actually mines in the nail and there really isn't. You can just walk across these. So, as you can see, this one is the, um, I mean, I guess I can just walk across it. So, you know, this is the one that's activated, uh, I believe, right here, somewhere here. And it's demonstrated to you the power. And what this does is, is even though TNT has a delay of five seconds normally, so if you um, put a piece of sand on it, you click the trigger, it makes the sand drop beneath it makes a drop on the TNT, detonating it instantly. Um, and so this is why you should have multiple ones, because... Okay, no might fall in. So you see that it didn't do too much damage to me. Um, which is why you probably want multiples of that item. I don't know how much time I have. Not too much, clearly. Um. What I'm going to do is make it 3D, which can also make it a bit easier for people to die when they're down there. Put it in the pressure plate. What have I done? So, that's a good thing to do. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video, um, you can also use this for a multiplayer, create some traps, steal all their stuff, they'll hate you, you'll love yourself, um, and that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, sorry for the watermark, I can't help that yet, um, and I hope I can do more of these, I'll have to ask the big boss man, CJ, but um, I'll get back to you, and please rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever, if you want to see more Minecraft, make sure you subscribe, because we'll have new videos coming out very frequently. Um, so this is Will from Argos Games, and uh, I'm signing off. Thanks.